First off, let's explore this term of reference management software. Uh, just, just what does it mean for a computer program, a piece of software to, to, to manage your references? Now you might be used to managing your references manually, which means you look through journals, you look through books, you have online databases, you save the PDF somewhere, and you write down in, in a notebook, either on in pencil and paper or a digital notebook, the, the actual citation, the reference. And then when you go to prepare your documents, say you're writing a journal article or you're writing your own book chapter, you add in the citation and then you add a bibliography entry at the bottom to match that citation. And you have to conform to one of many, many different styles out there in the world. And, and you do that all manually. The point of a reference management software package is to do all of that work for you. This is a tool. A reference management software package is a tool to record and use bibliographic citations, to find them, to record them, store them somewhere, and then also to use them, to apply them somewhere so you can actually apply the correct references and citations in a working document. It is also a the point of a reference management software package is to maintain a personalized directory of useful sources. So not every source that you find in, in, in the course of your research, not every source that you come across will be used in your actual article. You won't cite everything. Uh, maybe it's not relevant for the uh, for the document you're writing right now. Maybe it's just good background information, does, but doesn't need its own citation. So over the course of your research, you will collect your own personal library of useful sources. You will find those documents, you will find those references, and you want to be able to categorize them you want to be able to search them. You want to be able to sort them. You want to be able to find useful annotations. You want to find interesting connections so that if you do cite it in a document someday, you know exactly where the document is, where your source is, why you're citing it, what the essential information is. Uh, you know, back in the day, decades ago, this was all done by hand. You had printed journal articles that you would highlight and then you would type up and you would have stacks and stacks and stacks. If you've ever seen like an old, you know, tenured emeritus professor's office, there's probably stacks and stacks of journal articles and filing cabinets. This is the 21st century version of the filing cabinet for your references. A reference management software package will maintain this database. It will keep it somewhere. It might keep it on your personal computer. It might keep it up in the cloud. It might do both in synchronized between. It might give you many ways to access your database, either from your personal computer or any computer or even your smartphone. So what you're going to see, this database that is going to become your personalized directory of references will be stored somewhere in many cases nowadays. It used to be when reference management software packages first came online, uh, it used to be just stored on your computer and you'd have to be synchronized across different computers. Nowadays, they all pretty much live on the cloud, but also maintain a local copy so that you can access all of your references uh, even without internet access. Now, normally, uh, those references is just the citation information, like the author, the abstract, the title, uh, the publication date. Uh, but many software packages, as we're going to explore, also have the ability to host uh, digital files, like the PDF associated with a particular source. And those can also be stored locally or on the cloud. We'll explore all of those options. 
Another thing that a reference management software package will do is that it enables you to connect to an online source database or journals. I'm talking about the archive. If, if you're in, in physics or mathematics or astronomy uh, or computer science, uh, the archive is already your daily bread and butter for doing research. Uh, that is where all the preprints show up. That is where everyone publishes. Uh, so you already know that and you want to connect to a database like that. You want to connect to a repository repository of papers that go out to a variety of journals. But some journals themselves are so large and so prestigious, like Plus One, that they themselves have an online database of all the articles appearing in all the issues of their journal. And you want to be able to connect to those databases and the software package will enable you to do so. We will see as we explore the varieties and the ins and outs of these reference management software packages that you can add citations manually, of course, uh, but many of them have tools that connect to these online databases and pull the essential information out so that you can use it in your own work. So you can view this as a bridge between the world of the journals and the world of the document that you are writing right now. The reference management software package allows you to build that bridge to pull all those references in. And this is going to be essential for your work because it, it is one of the most powerful things about these software packages is the automatic creation of bibliographies in a variety of styles and formats. You know, in your field, in your discipline, you might just have one or two styles that you will stick to. There might be more depending on the publication medium about whether you're writing a case report or a journal article or a book chapter uh, or, a, or just really anything. Um, there are a variety of styles that you're gonna encounter. Getting the bibliography bibliography is right is one of the most headache inducing tasks that a researcher can engage in. I speak from my own experience here. Having to do that manually is such a chore. It is such a beast. Having a tool that knows the styles, knows the formatting, you click a button and then I'm automatically, magically, all the citations that appear in your document end up with this nice, neat bibliography that have all the fields filled out that match the format expectations of the journal or the book or whatever the publishing medium is. That is a life saver. Trust me, if you're not doing it already, that if you're not using a software package already, the time and investment it will take to get used to uh, it and bring a software package into your workflow will be more than paid off from all the pain that you will save from not having to manually type bibliographies anymore. I guarantee it. And lastly, one of the reasons that decades ago, the emeritus professor who decades ago was not an emeritus professor uh, could have just filing cabinets full of journals was that there weren't as many scientists around. There weren't as many journals around. There weren't as many articles around. You would get that monthly issue of the journal and you'd be able to leaf through it and pick out the, you know, the two or three interesting papers and file those away. And it was no big deal. But folks, there are 1.5 million journal articles appearing every year in the world. That's one journal article every 20 seconds on average. By the time I finish this sentence, a new journal article has appeared in some field somewhere in the world. There are so many scientists now publishing so frequently, hence the need for things like Publication Academy, that you can't keep up. 
Uh, just in my own field, as an example, uh, I'm an astrophysicist, and yes, I pay attention to the archive. That is where a lot of Astrophysics Journal uh, articles appear before they go on to some, some journal. There is a mailing list that I subscribe to, and many astrophysicists and astronomers do too, that uh, every day say, okay, here are all the titles and abstracts of all the papers that were submitted today. A typical day will see between 40 and 80 new articles appearing. Now, for your field, that may not sound like a lot, but even for astrophysics, like that is tens of articles appearing every single day. Do I have time to read 50 journal articles in their entirety every single day? No. So what I'm going to rely on is a reference management software tool where when I'm going to prepare my own article or where I'm going to prepare my own research or I'm digging in, I'm trying to find the context, I'm going to search these databases and I want to pull the relevant articles out based on their titles, based on their abstracts, based on their keywords. I want to go find the article after it has published. I can't guarantee that in that daily listing, I'm going to catch all the articles that might be relevant to a future paper. But the reference management software package enables me to do that. They will give me some pathway for searching an online database, keeping up finding those keywords. I want this topic, uh, you know, with this subset uh, published between these years, filter those results down and then bring them into my own personal library so that I can read those and digest those and incorporate it into my own work. There are simply too many articles appearing for any human being to keep up with. Hence, we need some software help in the form of reference management software packages.